things can change. And it's a concept I call short circuits, which I think is happening a lot. If you look at the travel business, when I entered as an agent, travelers would call us, we would call the airline. And then Travelocity came out, and people started getting computers, and airlines got websites, and we saw the beginnings of a short circuit. People were buying direct, and 10,000 travel agents were eliminated. Or think of the record business. You know, you used to go to the record store and pick out the record. You never talked to the label. The store talked to the label. But then Steve invented the iPod, and everybody got one, and bingo, another short circuit. CD sales down 25% last year alone. The newspaper, your stockbroker, the video store, short-circuited. But a lot of businesses are being what I'd call rewired. Okay? Recently I spoke at the Air Conditioning Manufacturers Association and I thought about how I bought an air conditioner at my home in Dallas about 10 years ago. Well, I looked in the yellow pages and I talked to my friends and they recommended a dealer. And I went to him and he said, I represent train and day night. And I said, well, I'll get a train. I didn't talk to the manufacturer. I couldn't. He did. How would I do it today? Well, I'd go to the manufacturer's website. I'd check him out. I'd check out the competitors. I'd look at a comparison site. The manufacturer would probably refer me to a dealer. The dealer might even call me in a whole new relationship that's being rewired. Manufacturers are saying, what's a consumer? We never dealt with them before. And by the way, if we are dealing with them, why are we paying a dealer? Oh yeah, he has to install the thing. Well, maybe we should pay him less. The dealer's saying, how can I be relevant? And the consumer's saying, I got the power.